brother with Alan Rose, and he's wearing his sombrero to protect himself from cascarones. I, I, I think right. it's glued to his head. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw what I looked like, so I tried to shift it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're covering it all up. You've got right. cascarones confetti yeah, all over the place. I don't think I have too much in there now. Uh, you survived yeah. pretty well. Yeah, I had one kid at the uh, the parade that cracked one on me, but... It was sort of a, you know, tit for tat. I did it to him. I let okay, him go. Okay, well, that's only me. fair, yeah. right? And, you know, beautiful today. We were Gorgeous. all out there. Oh, yeah, it was beautiful. Covering on the news channel 3. Uh, we were on from noon to roughly 2. And uh, it was beautiful. You know, a little cloudy in the morning hours, but that really kept temperatures much more comfortable. Things didn't heat up too quickly, although I think it got a little burn on the nose, to be honest. It did. Yeah, and that sand was blowing in from the uh, east and west beach areas onto Cabrillo Boulevard. Now, I want to break down the numbers. We're into a new month today being August 1. Here's a look at July by the numbers. We know it was warm out there, but take a look at how warm things were. The 30-year average for July should be right around 59 degrees for a morning low. July 2014, 64.9. That's a huge difference. And look at the daytime high. Averages should be around 75 degrees. We were 7.5 degrees above that, seeing an average high temperature last month at 82.6 degrees. Now, today, starting August, a little cooler than that July average for us. 81 after a morning low of 64. Tomorrow looks to be a pretty similar forecast out there. We'll see some morning gray followed by some afternoon blue. Near average temperatures up and down the coast, which means 60s and 70s in these areas. 70s and 80s across the south coast in Oxnard Plain. The valley's still sizzling, but uh, a little cooler out there compared with what we saw today. And today we did see a little bit of cooling across many coastal zones. Look at this deep marine layer stratus that has developed. That's a marine influence pattern. Out here is the monsoon, so it's sort of a clash of two air masses. This air moving from the west to east, this one moving from the east to the west, and that's helping to fire off a few storms out there. But for us, we're going to stay on the edge of that monsoonal moisture, at least through tomorrow. Uh, dry conditions for the most part in your forecast. And again, we stay between the low off the coast and the high pressure ridge over the four corner states. And for us, what that really means is some pleasant looking conditions through the weekend, even into next week, some morning clouds and fog, afternoon sunshine, mild temps by the coast, the warm to hot stuff in the valleys. Now, there is a slight chance that we could see some of this moisture creep far enough to the west that we see some showers and storms. You see tomorrow in Futurecast, most of it stays to the south. But look what happens here on Sunday. A lot more moisture for those maybe coming back from Vegas on the 15. It could be pretty wet out there. The 10 as well heading out of California could be pretty wet. We're not seeing much across Ventura and L.A. counties. Maybe a few showers still possible, though, as we head towards Sunday afternoon and early evening. Tomorrow for the South Coast, no threat of rain. We'll see the blue skies for the afternoon hours. Again, pretty similar temperature trends to what we saw today. Uh, morning clouds out here across the Central Coast, p.m. sun, and some breezes for the afternoon hours as well. We'll see 80 in San Luis Obispo, 67 for Pismo, up to 77 in Rio Grande, 93 in Ojai, and topping out at 87 degrees in Santa Paula. Santa Barbara seven-day forecast, a little cooler Sunday with the increase in clouds. And then we sort of settle into a pattern here, cruise control, if you will, with temps in the low 80s pretty much through all of next week. A little above average, but not too hot in Santa Barbara. San Inez Valley will see 90s, then down to the 80s one day, back to the low 90s. Monday and Tuesdays are sort of bouncing around the upper 80s and low 90s in the San Inez area. A Ventura seven-day forecast looks good here. A little more humid on Sunday, but 75 and humid is not that bad. It's not as bad as when it's 85 or 90 and humid. A Santa Maria seven-day forecast, 77 degrees, and then we're down to 75 by the time we hit Sunday and some upper 70s again Monday to Tuesday. All right, got the hat back on. <laughs> I think this You're going to keep that on through Sunday, aren't you? I, I like it a yeah. little bit. It looks you know? very handsome you on like you. Slide it around a little bit to the left or right. Like you with yeah. the string yeah. hanging over your face. Okay. Maybe I'll head down to the...